What's going on guys? Josh here from Polymathics and today we're going to start a series that I'm calling About Face and it's geared towards military members and um, so first of all let me explain why. You see nowadays some of the most prolific um, polymaths are actually military members. They are at the forefront of a lot of emerging technologies. So they have to learn a lot of new things um, throughout their career. And they also, they have to find mastery in certain skill sets. So normally that skill set is like an AFSC or an MOS. And those who are in the military know exactly what I'm talking about. But so for an example, someone is a fighter pilot. That is their main job, their main mastery. But along with that, they have to learn ancillary skills. And sometimes they have to master other skills aside from just their core um, their core functions. And what that does is it allows them to um, be more versatile in the field, very much like a polymath. And um, also, the thing is, is due to the nature and seriousness of combat operations, um, there can be there can be no second guessing um, and because of this military members are trained with such discipline and precision and focus that um, that that it really exemplifies a lot of the polymathic mindset because even though they're given one specific skill set, so to speak, to focus on throughout their career. They may they 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 have to learn other aspects. Um, they have to learn leadership. They have to learn teamwork. They have to learn management. They have to learn all kinds of things, and they also go through an apprenticeship, all the way up to a mastery type of level, and um, all the while doing things where people's lives are on the line and um, learning new skills and going to different places and having to adapt so in my mind this is the military uh, community is one of the largest communities in the world that is comprised of modern-day polymaths now I'm not saying all of them are masters or even know that they are polymaths but these people definitely by and large exemplify the that mindset of uh you know a a jack of all trades but a master of some and so because of that um and because of my experience with the military um i've come to find that The, the whole purpose of About Face is to help military members get the jobs that they deserve. Because unfortunately, the, the, uh, the military sector is, is like a whole different world, a whole different country. They speak their own language, they have their own culture, they have their own traditions. And when a person transitions out of that, and they go to the civilian sector and they're trying to articulate those skills and abilities that they that they learned and earned in the military over to the corporate sector um, it can be a cumbersome process because it's a different language it's a different culture and there are different traditions and because of this many military members um, sort of lose confidence and um, and they settle for jobs that they're actually overqualified for in most cases. And so um, the purpose of this is to give you guys some tips, tricks, hacks, the mindset, so to speak, to go in there, to know what to anticipate, and to, to go in there and be bold, um, knowing that you are the best person for the job and that no one else in the competition brings the 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 value that you do and so um and so lastly i'll say that um 
TAPS, which for those who are, are not in the military, it's transition, um, oh gosh, what is it? Transition Assistance Program, Phew, brain fart, um, was created by the government to help military members transition out. And it is a great basic resource for service members to help them transition out. Unfortunately, there are several there are several problems with it, which I won't go into today. About Face, the series that we're about to go into, is geared towards members who, whether you've gone to TAPS or not, this material will augment that. It will help that. It's more advanced in some ways. It will touch on some of the basics that TAPS does, but I think it definitely goes into um, some areas that um, are not discussed or at least not discussed in great detail and in other areas it just reinforces what you already know maybe looking at it from a different angle so if that sounds like something that you're interested in if it sounds like something that uh, you'd like to learn more about then please join me um, in the upcoming um, videos and hopefully you'll find something of value that will help you in your transition to the civilian sector but until next time take it easy